Now, most anti-cancer drugs are administered in injection form. The drugs are usually given in their inactive state, though, because they are not soluble in their active form, which reduces their efficacy. But a domestic bio company has developed a method for an injectable solution in active form. Injin reports. This is an anti-cancer drug called ironotecan that's been used to treat colon cancer. It gets injected into a patient in an inactive form before becoming active within the patient's body. This action not only makes the drug less efficient, but it also has risks of side effects. Aeronauticon is the most commonly used anti-cancer drug for metastatic colon cancer. It's inactive, so needs to be converted into an active anti-cancer substance, SN38, in the liver. The conversion rate's about 5%, so it's necessary to develop a new anti-cancer compound to increase the treatment's effect. Now, a domestic bio company has developed a method that melts the substances together in their active form, the first time that technology has made this possible. We attach a hydrophilic compound to the parts of the insoluble drug that have a similar properties. That forms a primary particle, but this primary particle also has both hydrophilic and hydrophobic parts. So we've developed a method that encloses this antipathic compound to melt the insoluble particles. Last year, this biodevelopment company presented their results from an animal testing to the American Cancer Society, during which they showed the drug's anti-cancer substance to be four times more effective in their active state. Since then, the company has conducted phase one clinical trials for colon cancer and stomach cancer and aimed to enter phase two of clinical trials by the second half of this year. When this method becomes approved for commercialization, it will allow the anti-cancer drug to be administered in its active form, which would be in smaller doses than before, with the additional advantage of reducing side effects. Yunjin, Arirang News.